In this episode, we do some upwind sailing around Raiatea and check out the friends Polynesia. Not leaving yet, but ready to continue to new destinations. But first, this is me, Kim. There is Bart. And here is Liz, our little explorer. We sold everything to explore these beautiful places with our tiny 33 foot sailboat, Tranquility. In the last episode, we sailed to Huayin, a pearl in the Society Islands. We enjoyed our beach time and the scenic viewpoints and continued towards Raiatea. It's blowing really hard today, um, but we also want to check out. So Liz and I will go to shore, Bart stays on board just in case, um, yeah, just in case. So uh, we will try to hitchhike our way to um, the town. Are we going to town, Liz? Yeah. Together? To the Chandamarie? check out yeah. because why we do it today is uh, because it takes approximately five days to get your checking out papers because it has to be sent to Papiti and then you have to wait for an answer so that's only when you are on the what? island on the society islands not Tahiti and that's where we are Hitchhiking went really well and after a few walks around the block to get to the Gendarmerie, the checking out procedure has started. So we have a well-deserved lunch. We get back to the boat and decide to leave immediately, to a quieter place, because the wind is still very strong. Clear blue and calm waters are waiting for us. This is nice and a good place to wait until the exit papers are ready. Time to move on. We have been uh, a couple of days on this uh, very beautiful anchorage on Raiatea. Um, behind me is the boat of Adorsa, um, one of our Swiss friends who we met on the Pacific Ocean by our Iridium mill. And then we uh, came into Fatuhiva at the same day. Uh, we had drinks on their boat and uh, there was a, there was a uh, connection right away. So, um, yeah, and then we sailed all the way through French Polynesia and uh, we met them along all the islands. Sometimes we didn't see them for a couple of days and then we did, but now they're gonna stay here and we are going to move on. Um, we're not going to leave French Polynesia, we're just gonna go up north to Raiatea to uh, get our exit Zarpe. Um, we are going to do it a little bit illegal. Well, might be not illegal, but we're gonna get our exit zarp already. But then we're gonna still gonna sail to Taha, to Bora Bora, and maybe Maupiti or Maupiha, which is part of French Polynesia. Um, but because we're European, we don't need an exit stamp in our passport, so we can actually stay as long as we like. And the exit zarp is just a paper for the next country, so we can check in. So it doesn't really matter that there's a date on there that doesn't correspond. Host the anchor. See you later. See you later. Bye. 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 Bye.
A tout à l'heure Such nice sailing if you're behind a reef. We are um, sailing upwind again in a very narrow area because there are reefs on both sides of our boat, and um, yeah, the wind is uh, the wind is blocked by the island, so no waves. It's nice. like sailing how we were used to in the Netherlands. You need the gust to gain height, to maneuver along the reefs. And this really is only possible when you do not have waves or current that's slamming you uh, to stop. Because when there is no wind, you just smooth, smoothly need to glide that's part of uh, the passage before the wind kicks in again and with waves you can't so this is what you actually learn when you're sailing uh, in small dinghies or uh, small open keelboats it's the sailing in between land trees no wind areas uh, wind shifts around the trees because now I was very close to the reef but um, well, I didn't knew for sure but I was calculating and hoping for the wind to turn around one of the bushes come back in again and then I could gain some height and it worked out So this is really nice here in Rayatea uh, because we only want to get our exit zarpe and I'll well, do some groceries maybe and they have this uh, small marina which only is a day marina so you can't stay overnight but it's very nice to just get your stuff because the supermarket is 50 meters away and the gendarmerie is somewhere there in the building so that's gonna be cool it's nice. The only thing is it's a bit uh, unsheltered. So that's why we moved all the way in to uh, stay out of any uh, waves from the passing traffic. Zarpe done. We got it in the pocket, and uh, and it worked out. Since we are Europeans, we don't need a stamp in the passport. So if we get a check from the customs or gendarmerie in the next coming two weeks, and we're still in French Polynesia, they will check and they will say, ah, oh, you're still European and in the country. No problem. You can stay here. So, but we do have an exit Zarpe, so if we enter the Cook Islands, they will probably say, whoa, that took you long, if they notice. And then we can say, yeah, the weather was not that right. So we just didn't left and uh, the French were okay because we're European. <laughs> the 
that's our plan. Bow jobs, bow jobs, bow jobs. So Liz and I are out exploring a motu. Bummies. There are bummies. Yes, bummies. a lot of bummies. Yes. So we are at the small moto at the west side of Taha and well it's supposed to be a private beach uh, but there is nobody right now I mean just another family so yeah we will see at least this uh, part is better than the other side we were there were a lot of mosquitoes so then I'm easily done with playing on the beach because I really don't like mosquitoes. But this uh, looks nice. Really nice actually. And Bart's still fixing the water maker. So we go back at lunchtime. So small hour to play. What's that bit? Board. Let's hope the water maker is fixed. Then we can continue our journey. <sighs> Alright, so again, water maker issues. Probably all because of me. Uh, I don't follow the manufacturer instructions. So we ran out of our small filters from Schenker themselves and we uh, replace the filter house for the bigger filters these are the smaller ones and um, but this is the second filter house which broke uh, and this is a complete cut because the rest is still in here it's supposed to be like this um yeah i think these are uh these are just not designed for the seven bar seven to eight bar pressure that uh, the system has and uh, i think the smaller ones they look better look beefier i think they are better capable of handling uh, seven to eight bar pressure so um to get the small filters it's good because i bought like the long filters these ones and you can cut them so I just cut them to size uh, and that's how it's working now with the small filter house and it's working again After we fixed the water maker and had lunch, we felt like moving on again and head to the coral gardens here in Taha. But before we will leave, we checked our anchor. Because there are a lot of bummies here and we were in doubt if we put our floaters high enough. We always float our chain around bummies. It appeared not to, so before we hoist the anchor, we will lift our floater so we will not hit the bummies or get stuck around. It is a nice exercise and practicing our free diving skills again. Zijn in de vijf in de klok zit. Moving further. After a beat morning, we are going to round Taha. For, uh, towards the north, to the east side of the islands, to the coral gardens. It's supposed to be an aquarium, so yeah. 
why not go there? It's easy sailing, so we have all the stuff still on deck. Very stupid, I know. So, six knots, true wind speed. And we're doing four knots. Better than nothing. Very nice day it was. And after a very nice sail today, we have arrived at the Coral Garden. But it's a little bit cloudy now and the sun is going. It's low already. So we can't really see the clear blue water, but parts in water now attaching another fender on our anchor chain to float it a little bit more. And um, yeah, tomorrow we will explore a little bit more. Of course, a first stop when you are close to the coral gardens is a visit to the place. We woke up early so we can visit this place before the tourist boats will arrive around 10. And now the wind is still low, so calm waters to get there. The wind always picks up around noon. So we just walked the entire path and we are now almost at the end of the, the pass. Uh, the current is going strong into the uh, into the, to Taha. So the current is going strong to Taha. Uh, it's pretty strong now, so it's gonna be difficult to maneuver between the coral bobbies. Uh, because it's very shallow uh, so some of them are always almost to the top of the surface so you can't float over them then you have to go in between to not damage the coral and uh, it is advisable to bring shoes water shoes because the road is uh, not very nice to your feet and also if you have to stand in between the coral here there could be some spikes in the water and uh, yeah I'm barefoot it's not really nice Ooh, it's surrounded by fish.
There are narrow paths between the different corals and a strong current in between. Swimming next to each other is not an option. So we let Liz cruise from one parent to the other in these narrow areas. After a lovely morning swimming in the coral gardens, now it's our turn to have some fun. We go to a rum distillery. We go to Pari Pari, a very young distillery for rum and coconut oil. It's small. They do not have aged rum, but rum for teapons, vanilla rum and passion fruit rum. Besides the rum, they also make coconut oil and tamanu oil, which is good for a lot of things. It was a fun tour with great company and all the kids were playing while we had the tour. Uh, to make a teapons with a lime and syrup. Very hot. No more breeze. And mommy, how did it go, mommy? It is very mommy. nice food, and Liz needs to eat now too. But it's very hot, mommy. Hmm. Is it? And it's very hot, but. Daddy. Daddy, it's very hot, but it's very hot, but I am eating one runny. And that is for the eat. Bye bye. Well, this was it. If you have any questions, please let us know. And for now, goodbye. And thank you very much for watching. Fair winds to you all.